My name is Christina Graziano and I'm with Bally Organ Canada as a dancer and this is my sixth season here. I grew up in Kelowna, British Columbia. I was born into a, an Italian Catholic family. When I was 14, um, my ballet teacher and I went to Russia, um, St. Petersburg, and spent two weeks there. It was just the craziest two weeks of my life because I, it was ballet all day and then a ballet at night and every single day. So I think we saw like 10 shows within two weeks and it was just the most amazing experience because it's such an artistic city. When I was 16, I um, auditioned for the Rock School in Philadelphia, um, was accepted with full scholarship. My mom put me on the plane, shipped me off, and I finished high school there, um, was there for two years, and then um, moved to Vancouver where I had my first job after that. Um, so I was in Banff um, doing a two-week choreographic workshop with a dear friend of mine, um, his name is Josh Beamish, he's a choreographer, and BJC was also doing a workshop there as well, and we were having a studio showing one day, and some of the dancers from BJC actually decided to show up and watch it, and thanked Jorgen. He kind of was walking by the door and just stepped inside and watched and um, ended up watching our show. And then after I was talking to some of the girls and I said, I was like, oh, is that Bengt Jorgen in the corner over there? They were like, yes. And I was like, oh, okay. So I marched over to him, stuck my hand out and said, hi, Mr. Jorgen, my name's Christina. How are you? I just, I just kind of did it because yeah, it actually ended up kind of working out because then, you know, he said, nice to meet you. and invited me to take class with the company the next day and then he offered me a job after class. I'm learning Juliet and Daniel is my Romeo. <laughs> Daniel De Silva is my Romeo and um, he's just an amazing partner and um, beautiful dancer and if I didn't love wearing heels so much I'd have to make him my boyfriend in real life. For now we are we are falling in love professionally 200 people can watch us fall in love instead of us doing it behind the curtains, so yes. Yes, ballet does need to stay with the times and the way things with media are going. Like for instance, I think it's Bolshoi that's now, um, they're showing their live performances in movie theaters all over the country, which is fantastic because we need to stay with how things are going media-wise, but cannot sacrifice everything that ever was. So ballet will always be done in a theater will always be done in front of an audience. But we can play with that. So, like filming it and now putting it into a movie theater so that myself, I can go and see it in Toronto. We can't integrate so far that we've lost what it was. If that makes sense. We want to hold on to what we've known for so long, but, you know, we kind of have to give and take. It's back and forth. It can't be all one way or the other. So, we have to go with it, but at the same time can't completely give up whatever identity ballet ever had, you know, um, because at the end of the day, it's still art, and that is what needs to remain the same, is that it is art.